Hey, hey, Warrior Saints, good morning. God bless and keep all of you. Glad to have you beautiful people with us here. And those who are watching at home, please remember, always pray for us as we do for you. Blessed is our God always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, and us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, and us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, and us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over all their enemies. By the power of thy cross, preserving thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross, O Christ our God. Bestow thy bounties upon the new nation which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we be led to victory over our adversaries. Having in thine aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O champion dread who cannot be put to confusion, despise not our petitions. O good in all praise, Theotokos, establish the way of the Orthodox. Save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave us birth to God. And the Lord art blessed. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to thy great goodness. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Thou art a merciful God who loves mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory. The Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless Father in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy consubstantial life giving and undivided Trinity, always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will toward men. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who thou cause are mine enemies, the teeth of sinners, as thou hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I lay me down and slept, I woke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasing me in thy wrath, for thine arrows are fastened in me. Thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh, in the face of thy wrath there is no peace on my bones, in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden that they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face, for my loins are filled with mocking, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly, I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and all my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me, and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that see evil for me spake vain things, and craftiness is all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a mouth that heareth not, 
and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee I hope, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I have said, let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live and are made stronger than I. They that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slander me because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in a land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory, for thy mercy is better than lives. My lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with lips rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I meditated, on, if I remembered thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these, in vain have they sought after my soul, they, that sh they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. And they shall be surrendered under the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God. Everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him. For the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. As the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper. In the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, their right hand to quickly help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now endeavor not to ages of ages. Amen, O Lord God, and my salvation by day have I cried, and by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee. Bow down thine ear unto my supplications, for filled with evils is my soul, and my life into Hades is drawn nigh. Count with them to go down into the pit, I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave. Whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand, they laid me in the lowest pit in darkness, and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up and have not come forth. Mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead wilt thou work wonders. Shall physicians raise them up that they may give thanks unto thee? Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy and of thy truth in that destruction? Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness, and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten? But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul? Why hidest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles through my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water all the day long. They compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee. Bow down thine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he has done for thee. Who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who heals all thine infirmities, who redeems thy life from corruption, who crowns thee with mercy and compassion. Who fulfills thy desire with good things, that you shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of mercy and executes judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he has willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, and long suffering and plenteous of mercy, not unto the end will he be angered. Neither unto eternity will he be wroth, not according to our iniquities as he dealt with us. Neither according to our sins have he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord has made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his son, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knows wherever we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are as the grass, as the flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him, and his righteousness is upon sons of sons. Upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven has prepared his throne, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word to hear the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplication and thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath humbled my life down to the earth. He has sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead. My spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old. I meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creations that I am. Stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirst after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God, thy good spirit shall lead me into the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. Thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. 
O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not in the judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O our God, and our own glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have Lord for this holy house and for those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have Lord have our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop John, and for the quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. For the President of the United States, for all civil authorities and for armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this city and every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick, the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious, Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O oh Lord. Unto thee are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. When Mary stood at thy grave looking for thy sacred body, angelic power shone above thy revered tomb. And the soldiers who were to keep guard became as dead men. Thou led Hades captive and was not tempted thereby. Thou didst meet the virgin and didst give life to the world. O thou who art risen from the dead, O Lord, glory to thee. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst blossom forth for the faithful, O most sacred Clement. As a branch of holiness, a staff of contest, a most sacred flower and a sweet God-given fruit. But as a fellow sufferer of martyrs and a fellow prelate of hierarchs, intercede with Christ our God that our souls be saved. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The mystery which was hidden from everlasting and was unknown of the angels. O Theotokos was revealed through thee to those who dwell upon earth in that God having become incarnate in unconfused union of his own good will accepted the cross for our sake, whereby he raised again the first created 
and have saved our souls from death. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us all, God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Holy, O Lord. For thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. When the tomb was shown to be open in Hades wailing, Mary cried unto the cowering apostles, saying, Come out, ye laborers of the vineyard, and proclaim the words of the resurrection. For the Lord is risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Mary Magdalene, O Lord, did stand by thy tomb and cry, weeping. And when she thought thou wast the gardener, she said, Where hast thou hidden the everlasting life? Where hast thou placed him who sitteth upon the cherubic throne? And when she saw the guards who kept him appearing from fear like dead, she cried unto them, Give me, my Lord, or else cry with me, saying, O thou who wast numbered among the dead, and who didst raise the, the dead, O Lord, glory to thee, both now and ever, unto ages of ages, amen. Thou who didst call thy mother, blessed of thy own good will, and, and didst come to the passion, shining radiantly upon the cross, desiring to recall Adam, and saying unto the angels, Rejoice with me, for I have found the piece of silver which was lost, O our God, who with wisdom has ordered all things, glory to thee. Verily, life was placed in the grave, and the seals were applied to the stone, and the soldiers guarded Christ as they would a sleeping king. But the Lord rose, smiting his enemies in an invisible way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Verily, Jonah did come forth before and made a sign of thy tomb, and Simeon did interpret thy divine resurrection, O deathless Lord. For thou didst descend into the grave as one who is dead, O thou who didst invade the gates of Hades, and didst rise free of corruption for the salvation of the world. Being the master, O Christ, our God, and its light those who are in darkness, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray, O Virgin Theotokos, to thy Son, Christ our God, who was willingly nailed upon the cross, and did rise from the dead, that he might save our souls. Amen. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The company of the angels was amazed when they beheld thee numbered among the dead. Yet thyself, O Savior, destroyed the power of death, and with thee raising up Adam, and releasing all men from hell. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Wherefore, O women, disciples, do ye mingle sweet-smelling spices with your tears of pity? The radiant angel within the sepulchre cried, Unto the murdering women, behold the grave and understand, for the Savior is risen from the tomb. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Very early in the morning did the murdering women run lamenting unto thy tomb. But an angel came toward them, saying, The time for lamentation is past. Weep not, but announce unto the apostles the resurrection. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The murdering women mourned as bearing spices. They drew near thy tomb, O Savior. But the angel spake unto them, saying, Why number ye the living among the dead? In that he is God, he is risen from the grave. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In that thou didst bear the giver of life, O virgin, thou didst redeem Adam from sin, and didst give to Eve joy in place of sadness. And he who was incarnate of thee, 
Both God and man had restored to life those who had fallen therefrom. Alleluia, 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 and majdunaka ya Allah. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Al-Majdunaka, Ya Allah, Ya Ilahana, Wa Rishana, Laka Al-Majd. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious, Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Blessed is thy name and glorified is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. By thy willing yet life-giving death, O Christ, thou hast crushed the gates of Hades, because thou art God, and hast opened the old paradise. And having risen from the dead, thou hast redeemed our life from corruption. To the heavens do I lift mine eyes, O word of God, have mercy upon me, that I may live by thee. O word of mercy upon us who are despised, and make us good and chosen vessels. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, in the Holy Spirit is the cause of salvation for all, for when he bloweth on one worthily, he doth raise him speedily from earthly things doth wing him and cause him to grow and doth rank him in the heavenly places. For not the Lord in our midst, it would, it, it would not be possible for any of us to stand firm in his wrestling with the enemy, for only thereby do the victors attain the exaltation of victory. Woe to me, how shall I escape the enemies while I am a lover of sin? Wherefore, deliver not my soul a word like a bird to their teeth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, through the Holy Spirit is everyone made divine, and in him is pleasure, understanding, safety, and blessing. For he's equal to the Father and the Word together. They who trust in the Lord are feared by their enemies and are wondered at by all, for their sight is very high. The party of the righteous hath secured thee as its succor, O Savior, and therefore shall not reach out its hands to iniquities. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily the Holy Spirit hath might over all, for him doth all the heavenly host worship and every breath below. O Lord, arouse thy strength, and come to our salvation. <laughs> O Lord, arouse thy strength, and come to our salvation. Hearken, O Shepherd of Israel. O Lord, arouse thy strength, and come to our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For holy art thou, our God, who restest in the holy place, and unto thee do we ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Sabihullah fi kadisin, sabihu fi falaki kuwatin, fel tu sabihirab. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, o Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be to you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive 
if the sins of any they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believe ye. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, you have believed because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And that believing you may have life in his name. <laughs> We have beheld the resurrection of Christ. Let us bow down before the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross do we adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. Ever blessed, O come, all ye faithful, for thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee. We call upon thy name. O come, all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection, for lo, through the cross of joy come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection, for in that he endured the cross for us, he has destroyed death by death. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassion, blot out my transgression, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me, against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified, and thy words have prevailed, and thou art judged. Behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou wast love truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. And my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. With thou desired sacrifice that I have given, and with whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken, and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure and design, let the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, for the oblation and the whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through the intercessions of the apostles, O Thou who art merciful, blot out all the multitude of our transgressions, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Thou who art merciful, blot out all the multitude of our transgressions, have mercy upon me, O God, according to the loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, 
have given unto us life eternal and great mercy. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassions. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all-immaculate Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, of the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, all audible apostles Peter and Paul, and of all the holy apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Mira, Spiridon of Trimethus, and Nectarius and Metopolis, the wonder workers, of our fathers among the saints, Tikhon, Patriarch of Moscow, and Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the trophy bearer, Demetrios the mirror streamer, Theodore the soldier, Theodore the general, and Manas the wonder worker, of the hieromartyrs, Hiro martyrs, Ignatius the god bearer of Antioch, Arlambos and Eleftherios, of the holy, glorious, great women martyrs, Tecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kitty, Aki, Fotini, Marina, Pereskiva, and Irene, of the holy, glorious, right, victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, who shone in the ascetic life, of the holy, glorious, great martyr George, the trophy bearer, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the higher martyr Clement, Bishop of Ankara, martyr Agathangelos, and Polinos, Bishop of Nola, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, we beseech you, O most merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of us sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. Through the mercy and compassion and love for mankind, thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Having raised up all the dead out of the dark abysses of his life-bestowing hand, Christ God, the giver of life, hath bestowed the resurrection upon mortal nature, for he is the Savior and resurrection and life of all and the God of all. <coughs> we, the faithful, praise and worship thy cross and burial, O giver of life, for thou hast bound Hades, O immortal one, as God omnipotent, and thou hast raised the dead with himself and with the broken, and broken the gates of Hades and destroyed the dominion of death, since thou art God, wherefore we, the earthborn, glorify thee with longing, who art risen and has destroyed the dominion of the all-destroying enemy. Thou hast raised up all who believe in thee and rescued the world from the all-destroying all enemy with the darts of the serpent and has delivered us from the error of the enemy, O Almighty One. Hence we reverently praise the resurrection whereby thou who saved us since thou art God of all. On January 23rd in the Holy Orthodox Church we commemorate the Holy Hieromartyr Clement, Bishop of Ansira, and the Holy Martyr Agathangelos. The thirst of the inclement sword hath been sated on the blood of Agathangelos and Clement. Ye were felled on the 23rd, O Agathangelos and Clement. Clement was born in 258 in the city of Ansira in Galatia of a pagan father and a Christian mother. Clement was so famous because of his virtuous living that he was elected bishop of Ansira at the age of 20. In his young years, he attained the wisdom of a mature adult, and by great restraint, he tamed and conquered his body. During the reign of Diocletian, he was tortured so horribly and spent 28 years in difficulties and in dungeons. Clement considered it a great honor to be tortured because, as he said, even the mouth of my Lord Jesus Christ was also beaten and struck in the face. And behold, I, the unworthy, now become worthy of that. Finally, he and St. Agathangelos of Rome were beheaded together in 312. On this day, we also commemorate Paulinos, Bishop of Nola. By their holy intercessions, O Christ God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Have mercy on us. Amen. The, the sun once shone on dry land that was begotten of the abyss. For the water became as hard as a wall on either side. For the 
people that crossed the sea by foot and sang in a God-pleasing manner. Let us sing to the Lord, for gloriously is he glorified. The foundation of them that open thee, O Lord, May steadfast the church which thou hast purchased with thy precious blood. My virtue hath covered the heavens, O Christ, for coming forth from the ark of thy holiness. Even thy undefiled mother, thou hast appeared in the temple of thy glory, as an infant born in arms, and all things were filled with thy praise. When Isaiah beheld God symbolically on an exalted throne attended by angels of glory, he cried, O wretched man that I am, for I have seen before him the incarnate God the Lord of peace and unwaning light. When the elder had seen with his eyes the salvation that came from God unto the peoples, he cried to thee, O Christ, thou art my God. Thee, the word of God, we praise with him. Who in the fire didst once be to the three children that confessed and praised thee as their God, and who dwell is still a virgin who was free of defilement, and with all reverence we sing, Blessed is the God of our fathers. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. Standing together in the unbearable fire, yet not armed by the flame, the children, the champions of godliness, sang a divine hymn. O oh, ye words, bless ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. The Theotokos and Mother of the Lord, have, Let us honor magnifying soul. have mercy on us. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim. <laughs> Corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that hear him throughout all generations. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. He who without corruption gave his birth to God the word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. He has put down 
the mighty from their seat. He hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the empty with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. Yemen he acromin a cherubim, warpomers and the hierarchy as in a seraphim. And let the big hierophasad, one of the canim at Allah, Waya Hakan Wadi the Tulina, he akinu and at the servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. He who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. O Theotokos, thou above all Christians, keep and shelter and preserve them that set their hope on thee. In the shadow and letter of the law, let us the faithful contemplate of prefiguring. Every male child that openeth the womb is holy unto God. Therefore do we magnify the firstborn word, the Son of the Father who is without beginning, the firstborn child of a mother who hath not known wed Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all of our life unto Christ our God. Holy, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise thee, and unto thee do they ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is Kudusonu Arabu Ilahuna, Irfa Rabba Ilahana, Wajuduli Mauti Kadamai, Liana Rabba Ilahana, Kudus. When thou hast entered while the doors were shut fast, thou, O Master, didst fill thine apostolic choir. With the all Holy Spirit, and having breathed peace upon them, thou verily didst tell them to bind and loose the sins of men, and the eighth day thereafter thy wounded side, and thy hands didst thou display unto Thomas, with whom we cry, our Lord and God. Art thou, O Sovereign Master, like the divine Apostle Paul, thou wentest round about the earth, and stretching forth, O brave Clement, the vine of thy long contendings, thou caughtest Agathangelos with the fair tendril of the faith, and suffering with thee he became thy fellow martyr and partner, a victor named for good tidings. Since thou, O holy bride of God, art a pure vessel free of sin, O maiden, speedily free me from the dark murk of the passions, and snatch me from the terrible, gnashing of teeth, the deathless worm, and from the everlasting fire, 
so that with faith I may aim thee. O blessed Mary, my lady. judgment that is written, this glory shall be to all his saints. Thy cross, O Lord, is life and resurrection for thy people, and trusting therein we pray. him in the firmament of his power. Thy burial, O Master, hath opened paradise unto the race of men. And having been redeemed from cold Praise him according to the multitude of his greatness. With the Father and the Spirit, let us praise Christ, who is risen from the dead. And let us cry unto Thou art our life and resurrection. Have mercy on us. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. As it is written, Thou didst rise the third day from the tomb, O Christ, praising also the forefather of our race. For this cause doth all mankind extort
timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute. O Lord, great and terrible is the mystery of thy resurrection, for thou gavest forth from the tomb, even as a bridegroom from a bridal chamber, undoing death by death, that thou mightest free Adam. Wherefore in the symbols praise him with symbols of jubilation let every breath praise the lord no
Why do we weep for him who hath made life to flow from his side for the world? Why do we seek the immortal one as a Disciples, the universal joy of his glory, us resurrection. Whereby do thou enlighten us, O Savior, and grant
is amen. Most blessed art thou, virgin Theotokos, for through him that was incarnate of thee is Hades despoiled. Adam is recalled from the dead, the curse is made void. Eve is set free, death is slain, and we are endowed with life. Wherefore in hymns of praise we cry aloud, Blessed art thou, Christ our God, who is thus well pleased, glory be to thee. Glory be to thee, who has shown the light, glory in the highest to God, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. We worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, King, heavenly God, the Father almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, thou who takest away the sins of the world. Iqbal tadaru'ana ayyuhal jalis, an yaminil abi warhamna. For thou alone art holy, thou alone art Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, Amen. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers. And praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, even as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. O Lord, to thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For in thee is the fountain of life. In thy light we shall see light. Continue thy mercy unto those who know thee. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Agios o Theos, Agios Iskiros, Agios Satanatos eleison imas. Kudusun Allah, Kudusun Al-Qawi, Kudusun Al-Ladhi la yamut arhamna. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us.
Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. the peace of the whole world, the good estate, the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father, and Metwalt, and Joseph, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop John, and for the quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For the presidents of authorities and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, not danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord. Calling to remembrance our holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all of our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Maiden, maiden, be slamming the door, rubbing at low. Lord have mercy. Lord, what hell is worth? I'm not a Father, it's in all Kuliata Kadasa Tara, a fa e Katalbara Katalmaji. So you did an hour the data, a da, a metapoliat, a marama, Jomi, the unfolds and our baton, the baton, we call Hayat in Lumasi. Heal Ila. The Annalaka is the Tawala Kamul Kawal Kuata Wal Majda. Are you Hal Abu Al Ibn Waru Hil Kurus? Al Anu Kulawan in Waila Dharida. Thou who 
did sanctify the virgin's womb by thy birth, and did bless him and hands as was meet, by anticipation as even now saved us, O Christ God. But grant peace in the midst of wars unto thy commonwealth, and strengthen the hierarchs whom thou hast loved. Only friend of man. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy art thou, our God, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. attend. Wisdom. Let us attend. This master here. Timothy, my son, the saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And I am the foremost of sinners. But I received mercy for this reason, that in me, as the foremost, Jesus Christ might display his perfect patience, for example, to those who were to believe in him for eternal life. To the King of Ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to thee, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. Thy spirit. Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us attend. At that time when Jesus drew near Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a multitude going by, he inquired what this meant. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. And he cried, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. And those who were in front rebuked him telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and commanded him to be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, 
let me receive my sight. And Jesus said to him, receive your sight. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. Hey, we're saints. Good morning. God bless and keep all of you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. You know, as I shared with you last week, I had a, uh, a pacemaker put in about two weeks ago. And one of the, the protocols that Dr. Zawana gave me was he wants me doing no exercise for about six weeks. So no lifting heavy weights, no running, which as you know for me is, is difficult. I like to exercise. And I said to myself, okay, fine. He said for six weeks, right? He doesn't want the wound to open and he doesn't want the, the wires inside to, to pull free. So I said, once I hit the six-week mark, I'm going to go after it. I'm going to get back and running, back to running, back to lifting, exercising, and being healthy, and so on. But I noticed with this mentality of once I, I started to gain weight. I mean, let's just say it, I got fat, right? I'm as heavy as I've been probably in 20 years. I'm so fat, my youngest, my sweet little Amelia even said to me, Baba, you're so fat. I said, what? She goes, when you walked in front of the TV, I missed two episodes. <laughs> that's good. She didn't say that. I made that up. But that's, that's good stuff, right? I don't care who you are. That's funny right there. All right, so, so this once I syndrome has led me, I mean, I'm striving for health, but once I get to six weeks, has led me farther away from health and to a more rotund living, right? And so I thought about once I, one side and this, this fallacy of one side that we all say that all the time, don't we? I mean, think about like every American in this country. Once I reach January 1st, I'll exercise and diet all the time, right? Don't we say that, right? I mean, we do. What about beautiful young people? Once I finish this episode of Pretty Little Liars or Ozark, I'll do my homework, Right? Come on, you say that. I know you say that. I have teenagers, right? right? Once I get X, more money, the girl, the guy, a better job, a better life, then I'll be happy. Or once I finish this particular sin that I'm addicted to, I'll turn back to Christ our God. Don't we say those things, the once I syndrome, and we, we find ourselves stuck in the midst of procrastination. And what that does, unfortunately, is what we submit to the once I fallacy, we are not performing at our highest level. We are not the best that we can be. When we start saying over and over, once I get to X, Y, or Z, we have not offered, we have not made our highest offering to the world. Now this is nothing new. This is not a St. George Phoenix or 2022 North American fallacy, right? This is something that has existed perhaps since the dawn of time, even in the beautiful book of Proverbs, this, this book in the Bible that is, it's rich with wisdom and God's insight. It says about the sluggard, meaning the lazy man, the one who, who puts off things, that if the sluggard doesn't plant his crops when it's time to plant the seed, that when he comes to the harvest, he's going to look for food and he will have nothing, right? Like, I mean, you think about it. If you don't plant the seeds, well, one, once I feel strong, I'll plant the seeds. When the harvest comes, you won't have any wheat for bread. The proverbist goes even farther in this chapter 27. He's like, look, don't you dare bank on tomorrow because you never know what the day will bring. Right? Like I mean, he's saying to us, this is really a message about death. Right? Don't say, well, once I get to, or once I do, once I accomplish, because, beloved, Christ may come like a thief in the night and take all of us. There is the hope for tomorrow, but there is no guarantee for tomorrow. Most importantly, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ himself, 
He says, in chapter 9 of the Gospel of Luke, he says to the people, follow me. Like he's calling people to come after him, to follow where he goes, to live a Christ-like life. And he says to one, follow me. And the guy says, okay, but let me first bury my father. Right? My father died. Once I, once I get my dad in the ground, I'll follow you, Lord. And Jesus is like serious. He's committed. He's like, there's nothing that should prohibit you, nothing that should allow you to procrastinate, nothing that should make, allow you to make an excuse from following me. Let the dead bury the dead. You go proclaim the gospel of the kingdom, right? Like, you can see how powerful Jesus is saying this is. He, he doesn't even want the guy to put his father in the ground. He says, do another one. Follow me. And the guy says, okay, but let me go back to the house and say goodbye to everybody. Right, like I'm going on this long journey, let me go kiss my wife and my kids and say goodbye and, and then I'll follow you. And Jesus is saying, once I doesn't get it done, you must follow me immediately. And then he says this verse, this is tough. Anyone who has put his hand to the plow, anyone who has started this process and quits on it, is, listen, it's tough, you can see it. He's not fit, she is not fit for the kingdom of God. What, what Christ is saying is that once we're in, and we're all in, we have to go full bore, right? Full force after the Lord to live a Christ-like life. And we can't allow ourselves the excuses that we, that we allow for, for procrastination to keep us from a life of Christ. I know that that's hard. I know that it's challenging because there are a gazillion things that try to block us and prevent us from following Christ. But perhaps the biggest ones... Some of those that I find to be the heaviest and the hardest to deal with is the overwhelming feeling of so many things to do, right? How many of us say, oh my gosh, it's just, it, there's just so much, so much that I have to do that it's overwhelming. Like I, 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 my life, I feel this constant pressure from all the things that I have to do. And the perhaps uh, 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 an addendum to that is with that, I don't even know where to start. I mean, there's so much. It's overwhelming, and, and I mean, the journey of a thousand miles, I don't even know where to start. And we find ourselves saying, all right, if you're like me, it's this analysis paralysis. Have you ever heard that? We're like, I'm going to analyze it, I'm going to make a plan, I'm going to be ready, and then all of a sudden you're sitting on the sideline forever and ever because you're saying, once I, and we're not following Christ. In order to overcome that, to get on that path, and leave this once I fallacy behind, I'm going to give you one practical point. And it's got three subcategories to it. And that is very simply this. You must, listen to my words, ruthlessly eliminate the non-essential. I wrote eliminate the non-essential. But ruthlessly eliminate the non-essential. Right? you gotta be, you got to be ferocious about it. Because, as you know, the non-essential will creep up on you all the time. It's a never-ending monster that will always come and throw more and more and more at you. You see, you know, really this, this more syndrome that we live in the world, we have more options and more opportunities and more decisions to make. And we feel the pressure of all this more and we try to take all the more on. And we find ourselves making a millimeter of progress in a million different directions. Which is ultimately to say what? We're not making any progress. So we must ruthlessly eliminate the non-essential. And that begins with focusing on one or at most a few things that you can be great at. What can you be the very best at? Let me, let me give you an example from my own personal experience. I, I'm your pastor. I'm the priest of this parish. I'm your spiritual father, all that kind of stuff. I, I'm not good at very many things. But man, I can talk, right? You guys know that I talk very well. And I can teach. And so I've decided that in the ministry, in my ministry at St. George, I'm focused on teaching. That's it. I preach to you on Sundays. We do nine, eight or nine Bible studies throughout the, the month, once every week, and then we have all the individuals that we do monthly. We teach online. Do you know that since COVID started back in 2020 in March, we've filmed more than 900 video lessons that are out there? I wrote a book. I never thought that would happen, right? Like, I'm, I, that's what I can do. And so I am focused on teaching. I don't, I don't usher in the church. Scott does that. I don't lead our stewardship committee. Bill does that. I don't maintain even the facility. We hire Janie to do that. I don't worry about liturgy. That's Greg's expertise. I don't even really spend a lot of time focusing on our kids because that's Eli's ministry. I don't worry at all about coffee hour because Louise has that handled, right? Our ladies are so adeptly run by Valerie. I don't do those things so that I can focus on you see that. 
it's important for us that we focus on one, and as I say, maybe at best a few things that we can become great at. Nobody is good at everything. Anyone who thinks so is fooling no one but themselves. So find your purpose, your gift, what God has given you, and as we say as warrior saints, go get some. That requires the second point, and this is the part of the elimination, is that you must be relentless about saying no to everything else. You got to say no. You have to protect that purpose. You have to say no. It's a hard word, I know, especially for Americans because we have so many opportunities and so many invitations and so many people pulling at us that we feel sometimes obligated or we feel sometimes guilty if we don't say yes. But I promise you, if you do not learn to say no, listen to my words, to 95% of the opportunities that come your way, you will not have the space to give your best. Again, to go back to my image. And I don't, I don't mean to talk so much about me, but it's, it's in my head. Like, I'm supposed to preach here on Sunday mornings. In order for me to be effective, I have to be well rested. Especially with this thing, right? Like, I'm tired, so i got to be rested. To be well rested, I have to say no to every single invitation I get on Saturday nights. I don't want to. I like going to your wedding receptions and the engagement parties and the family gatherings and the dinners and, and out with the teens when they do their I love that stuff. I mean, I love being with people and talking. But if I do that, I'm going to stink here. And this is my one thing. And so in order to protect this, I have to say no to all that stuff. And again, it's hard because I personally enjoy it. But this is my one thing. So I have to say no to all those other things. Does that make sense? It's so hard, but yet so important that we say no. And I said it, it's, it's, my number's probably right. 95% of the things that come our way. Because as you know, in this world we live in, especially with our cell phones and all that kind of stuff, there's a lot of noise that comes our way. The last part of this is that you have to just start. Sometimes when you discover the one thing, the purpose that Christ has given you, it, it can become overwhelming. Again. I'm a teacher. That's it. I'm, my job is to teach the gospel of the cross of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, I have on my desk at home an outline for my second book that I'm going to write. I already started, brain, and I wrote an outline. I have an outline for a third one. So I'm going to write three. It's in, you know, at least in this series. i got three. In, you know, I've, one's published. The other two are outlined. I also have an outline for a new series for my Warrior Saints ministry that is for young men, to help young men become men. We have an outline for a survey of the Bible, we're going to film video lessons for the entire scripture, from Genesis 1-1 all the way through the end of Revelation 28. Right. I have on my desk an outline for all of the live streams we're going to teach for the next coming months. I also have on my desk an outline for the, the main Warrior Saint subscription lessons that we teach. And as I say these, I'm sweating right now under my vestments because I'm like, oh my God, that's a lot of stuff to do. And as I sit around, I look at you, should see what I do with my papers. Well, I, I, the book, I'm going to put it here because that should go first. But then the second book, no, I'll put that over here. And then this, and all of a sudden I'm, I'm moving things all over the place. And you know what I'm not doing? I'm in motion, but I ain't in action. I'm not doing anything. I'm not producing. And I spend a lot of time walking around and I look at the email inbox. And somewhere subconsciously I say, maybe somebody will send me an email that I have to deal with. And it will take away the distraction of all this kind of stuff. And you know what's sitting on my desk? All those things. And you know what's not happening to them? They're not getting done. It's just a simple but brutally hard thing to start. I just have to, in fact, when I go home, I'm, I'm saying this publicly to my beloved spiritual children, I am going to just start. I don't know which one yet. I'll figure it out on the drive home. But I'm going to pick one of those stacks, one of those outlines, and I'm going to start something. And if I only type one paragraph of chapter one of the next book, that is one paragraph that I started. And paragraphs lead to pages, and pages lead to chapters, and chapters lead to books, right? You just have to start. Let's put aside the once-eye fallacy, the syndrome of, of once-eye, and leave the procrastination from us producing and offering our highest contribution to the world. Let's leave it aside. This very day, in fact, this very moment, dedicate yourself to living a Christ-like life, and find your purpose, relentlessly eliminate all of the things that distract you from it, and go get some. May our great God and Savior Jesus Christ bless and keep all of you. Amen. Amen.
Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom. And guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Subdiaconates may the Lord be with you. جميعكم وجميع المسيحيين الحسن لبادة الأرثوذكسيين ليكر رب إله في ملكوت السماء كل حين الآن وكل أوان وإلى دهر دهرين. All of you and all Orthodox Christians. May the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom 
always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Our Father and Metropolitan Joseph and all our brotherhood in Christ, may the Lord God remember them all in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. President of the United States and all civil authorities and our armed forces in defense of peace and freedom everywhere, may the Lord God remember them all in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God who have offered this holy oblation that they may have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of their sins. We especially pray for the servants of God, the Archpriest Elias, the Archpriest Jihad, the Churi Alice, and the Churi Selwa, the Churi Hinnid, George, Romy, Chase, Richard, Anthony, Dina, Mary, Alexandros, Katerina, David, Donald, Tyler, Annie, Sue, Halim, Susan, Eileen, Milham, Jonathan, Janet, Nadim, Salim, Hassan, George, Linda, Jamal, Sarah, Gianna, Marinal, Keenan, Christopher, Evangelina, Gabby, Sergio, Barbara, Michael, Lori, David, Norman, Diana, and George. May the Lord God remember them all in his heavenly kingdom, always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God departed this life in the hope of resurrection unto life eternal. We especially pray for the servants of God, the newly departed Antonios, the newly departed Heidi, the newly departed James, Marie, Melchem, Raul, Maria Rosa, Maria, George, Edna, Wilma, Jalila, Sim'an, Khadra, Michael, and Jamila. May the Lord God remember them all in his heavenly kingdom. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Noble Joseph, Amen. Amen. wrapped it in spices, and in it in sorrow, in the grave with the body, but in the peace of the soul, it's not a dress of the Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. With the precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and free of sin, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord that we may complete the rest of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord, a Christian ending to our life painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good account before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask, calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, that thou talk us in ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life to Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Peace be with you.
Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, <coughs> maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand upright. Let us stand with fear. Let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With Let us lift up our hearts. Give thanks unto the Lord. Singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. shed for you and for many for the forgiveness. 
greatest of sins. Thine own, of thine own, we offer unto thee in behalf of all land for all. Again, we offer thee this reasonable and bloody service, beseech and pray and supplicate. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth. And make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Amen. That which is in the cup, the precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Changing them both by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That to those who partake thereof, the Lord is the And not unto judgment, nor unto the Lord. And again, for all those who are in For all those who are in the faith of Moses, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, and ascetics, and every righteous spirit. Especially our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. the first be mindful, O Lord, of our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth, and grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. This is of our great God and of our Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our God who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, most heavenly, and ideal altar as a savior of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Asking for the unity of faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. And vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon Thee, the heavenly God as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O ti suestini vasilia que dinamis que doxa, tu patros que tu iu que tuai que pneumatos, nin que ai... Que isto se onas to neonon. Irini pasi. As que falimon tu kirio clean, o men. Souls and bodies, through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind. Of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us attend. The holy things are for the holy. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that Thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who has come into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. And I believe this is truly Thine own immaculate body, which is truly Thine own precious blood. Wherefore, I pray Thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both of voluntary and voluntary, of word and of deed, of knowledge and of ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation. Forgive me, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Lo, I draw near to Christ. Deacons, draw near. The precious and all holy body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Deacon Basil. Deacon Seraphim, to the Reverend Deacon Michael, to the Lo, again, I draw near unto Christ our moral King and our God. Precious and all holy blood of our Lord and God, Savior Jesus Christ, has imparted unto me the sinful and holy cause of our first love, to remission my sin. Thank you. 
future. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and hath revealed himself unto us. Receive me today. O Son of God, as partaker of thy mystical Unto the Lord, for he is good. Alleluia, for his mercy endures forever and ever. Alleluia, terifu, the rabbi, the anausali. Alleluia, 
thy people and bless thine inheritance. and unto ages of ages. Just 
stand upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. Lord, our sanctification, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. The Lord who blesses those who bless thee and sanctifies those who put the trust in thee, save thy people, bless thine inheritance, preserve the fullness of the church, sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house, glorify them in recompense by the divine power and forsake us not a hope on thee, give peace to the world, to the churches, to the priests, to the civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good and perfect gift is from above and comes down from thee, the Father of lights, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his grace and love toward man, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to thee, he who rose again from the dead for our salvation, Christ church from God, through the intercession of his all immaculate, all blameless, holy mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supper of peace, the honorable glories, prophet, born Baptist, John the Lord, glorious, all honorable apostles, our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, the Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we have now celebrated, the holy glories of right victorious martyrs, especially the great martyr George the trophy bearer, the patron and protector of this holy community, the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna of the holy hieromartyr Clement, the bishop of Ansira, the martyr Agathangelos, and Paulinos, the bishop of Nola, whose memories we celebrate today, and of all thy saints, have mercy upon us and save us for as much as he is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Good morning, beloved. God bless and keep all of you. Hope everyone's well. Doing all right. Very, very quickly on our announcements. Um, number one, I want to uh, thank last week our stewardship chair, Bill Fender, spoke to us. Um, we put together, you'll see it, it's coming out in the, uh, the annual meeting packets. Sorry, I'm all over. Let's say this. Our annual meeting is February 6th, and the... Uh, information once it's all compiled and put together they will send to you so you'll have a chance to see all of that they put together an incredible budget and I'm I can't tell you I'm so excited I mean like it's it's unbelievable it shows who you are um, for the first time we will have a million dollar budget so like I was like wow that means like we're rocking and rolling you guys are doing amazing things um, it's it's incredible and our stewardship chair Bill uh, and his team have done so good to help us get to our goals. We thank you, Bill. Um, to that end, all of us should be committed and, and tithing to the church. I mean, that's what we do as Christians, right? We don't, this doesn't just happen and Bill's not a magician as good as he is. It still takes all of us to make it happen. So we want to ask everyone to tithe. You can, you can do that. You can see the information at our stewardship table next door. We have information here. But really, it's pretty simple. Just visit PushPay. Use the PushPay app and just set up a weekly or a monthly gift. It's easy. It's just like it's on your phone. Um, it helps the church do her ministry. So we're grateful to all of you. Thank you, Bill, for all that good stuff. Um, on behalf of our ministry team, led by Matthew Peters also, I want to thank everyone for um, bringing clothes for the clothing drive. It was, seemed like it was pretty successful. Yeah. Really? 
So I don't know if you could hear Matthew, but we, we had a clothing, clothing drive for the last couple of weeks, and he took uh, the first load, right, down to uh, d- deliver it. And there were about 100 people that we reached by giving them clothing and blankets and all. Of- That's awesome. God bless you guys. Thank you for that. The ministry is not done because next week, Saturday, we can donate blood right here at church. Um, the, see Matthew and Laura. I don't know exactly what times. You have to sign up, I believe, right? But see Matthew and Laura if you're able to donate blood um, to help their I think that's it. God bless you. We'll continue our classes. Um, did I miss anything, G? Beautiful to have the choir back. You guys were really glorious up there. It was beautiful to hear you guys. Really wonderful. God bless you guys. So our classes resume. We, we continue our live streams starting tomorrow morning, as we do every day at 11 a.m., and then classes throughout the week, especially Wednesday. We have classes for everyone. So God bless and keep all of you. Everyone, we invite you to join us next door. For those who are visiting um, or have never been to St. George before, I'd love to say hello. If you don't mind, just stay up in front for 12 seconds. I'll say hello and greet you, and then we can head, <clears throat> excuse me, head next door to break bread together. God bless you guys. Have a great week. Be safe.